what are the technological drawbacks of the traditional data warehouses that are being used to collect data and then processing into visual information? Yeah, that's a good question. So what's we've also seen emerge is a lot of new, what I'd call analytical database technologies. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of companies like Vertica and Green Plum yeah. and Aster Data, and you even see this in Hadoop a little bit. A lot. We could talk about that. But uh, what's happening is, you know, if you look at databases, uh, there's been a shift towards them supporting just transactions versus analysis. So, if you, so does that make sense? So yeah. transactions means you're just trying to make a, you know, buy something or change your seat assignment in an airplane or something like that. Just an update, right? You check out a record and then you update it. But nowadays, uh, the real loads on databases are uh, doing analysis, like tell me how many seats I haven't sold, right? Now that means I have to look at the entire database, like the entire data warehouse. And those queries are starting to dominate the workloads, and people are realizing that a lot of traditional database technology isn't very good at that because they're designed to support these transactions. So that's really the fact that that traditional database technology is not as good at analysis is driving a lot of innovation 